welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be editing your photos. A few days ago, I put out an Instagram story asking if you'd be interested in me editing your photos. And a lot of you guys seemed really excited about it. So basically, I picked out a few of you guys randomly and asked you guys to send me your favorite unedited photo. And now I'm gonna be editing it. I decided to pick 10 different photos and if your photo didn't get picked today then don't worry because if you like this video I'll probably make a lot more of them in the future. I also wanted to say thank you to those who sent me their photos. I'm definitely not the best editor and this is just my interpretation of how I would edit these photos. Maybe you would want to edit them differently. But this is just what I think go best with the photo. I also want to make sure that this is a safe space for everyone. It really takes a lot of courage to put your work out there for everyone to see. So let's just make this into a safe environment. So I'm going to be editing on Lightroom and Snapseed. I usually do most of my editing on Lightroom and then I sometimes go in and use Snapseed to kind of edit the details or remove things I don't want to appear in the photo. Before we begin, I just thought I'd share some of my old photos that I used to edit and yeah, just to show you guys that it's a whole process and the way I edit my photos now, it was definitely not like that when I started out. I kind of learned along the way and changed my editing style a lot. You can see in my feed, I've changed it up quite a bit and experimented with different colors and different kinds of light. It took me a few tries until I found the editing style I liked. Here are a few of my most recent photos. And yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of green tones and warm tones. And I usually try to stick to those colors when I'm taking the photos as well. So checking that the props are matching the feed and background. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do when winter comes because as you can see in these photos I am basically relying on greenness of nature so yeah I'm basically screwed. And with that said let's just get into the video. So the first photo is from Adeline Wilson. She sent in this very lovely picnic photo. I seriously want to join you in this picnic Adeline. I honestly don't even think this photo needs any editing but since this is an editing video I should be editing the photo. So what I first notice about this photo is that it's already very warm and soft. So all I'm really going to do is kind of enhance that. So I'm gonna start by, well I'm gonna start by kind of cropping the photo. Since the sun is shining in this photo, it's already very bright, so we don't have to bump up the brightness. But instead I'm gonna kind of make the shadows and the sun more soft. Because when you're taking photos in direct sunlight, it can kind of create harsh shadows and so what I'm going to do with this photo is try to kind of even it out a bit so I'm going to bring down the contrast a bit and as you can see the contrast kind of controls the shadows in the photo so I'm just going to bump that down a bit and I'm also going to adjust the highlights in the photo so if you bring them all the way up it will be very bright but since the sun is already kind of creating that effect And then we're going to go into the shadows and like I said in the beginning we're going to make them a little bit brighter to kind of even out the photo. And then I'm going to bring down the white a bit and then we're going to go into the color section. And this is where you can kind of create the most in a photo in my opinion. And like I said before this is already very warm and there's a lot of green colors in it so we're just going to try to enhance that a bit. up the temperature a bit and drag the color scheme a little bit more to the green side just so we have the like green tone in the background of the photo if you know what I mean okay, so let's have a look at all the individual colors in the photo I think we're gonna make the red a little bit brighter and bring down the luminance a bit because that way we're kind of taking away the harsh light from from the props basically. And then I want the green to be a little bit more, you know, in your face. So I'm just gonna bring down the luminance a little bit. Like that maybe. And then I want it to be more to the like blue side of the green instead of the yellow because if you drag it down like this, 
and it looks more like fall. But if you drag it up to the other side, it looks more like summer. And then we're gonna go into the kind of tan and brown spots of the photo. So it's the bag and her arm and maybe the bowl. So we're just gonna bring down the lumens a bit there too. And then I'm gonna go into the blue tones. And I actually think I'm gonna remove the whole blue color from this photo. You know, there won't be a lot, but as you can see in the shadow, it's like very cold. So I'm just gonna bring that down a bit. And I'll do the same with the purple color as well. And I think we're done with the colors actually. So what I'm gonna do next is go to the Effects, I think it's called. And I'm just gonna bring down the texture because this is where you kind of create that blurry and dreamy effect. And I'm gonna bring down the clarity as well. As you can see, it changes the blurriness, blurriness in the background. So we want the background to be kind of blurry, but not to the point where it looks unnatural. So I'm gonna do that. The same thing with the texture and the texture. Yeah, it's kind of controls the blurriness and the details. So we want those a little blurry, but not too much. And when we're done with that, I think we're gonna go into details. And we're just gonna add a little bit more details. Because we kind of took that away when we added the blurriness. So let's move on to the next photo. This photo is from the lovely Yuan. She's so sweet and I love her feet so much and I was so happy when she sent me this photo for me to edit. Again, I actually don't even think this photo needs any editing at all. It's already so beautiful and you can see the sky is very clear behind her and the sun is also shining on her back. I think she's doing such a great job by posing. She's creating angles with her body. Some an interesting thing in this photo, like the sky behind her and the details on her blouse and the way she's like holding up her hair I just I love it for this photo I don't think you need to fix the lighting that much because the sun is already shining on like all the important spots of the photo like the background and on the subject but I'm just gonna bring down the contrast a bit and as you can see it kind of makes the photo more even and takes away the harsh shadows. I'm gonna bring down the highlights as well. And then I'm gonna bump up the shadows, but not too much, because as you can see on her hair, if I bump up the shadows, it kind of looks grayish, and we don't want that. So just a tiny bit. And then we're gonna bump down the whiteness of the photo. And yeah, then we're basically done with the lighting. Let's move on to the color section. This photo is very like, the main colors are blue and green basically. So we're gonna kind of wanna work with both those colors as much as we can. So I'm gonna start by making the kind of background tone of the photo more green. I'm also gonna make it a little bit more warm. And then I'm gonna go to the color wheel and edit the individual colors. I'm gonna start with green. So we're basically gonna make her blouse look more colorful in this photo, so I'm gonna bump this one up a bit and then we want to bring down the luminance as well and then we're gonna go into the blue color of the photo which is the main color and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker in the sky and here we have the finished result. The third photo is from Blake and she actually sent in two photos and I couldn't choose between them because I thought they were both so beautiful so I decided to edit both. Maybe I'll start with the flat lay because I just think it's so beautiful and effortless. So for this photo there is no direct sunlight. We're just working with an even light which is so much easier. There are no harsh shadows. This definitely saves us a lot of editing time. In photos where you're shooting on cloudy days, you can bump up the exposure a little bit to make it a little bit brighter. And I'm gonna lower the highlights just a little bit and yeah, tweak the shadows and maybe bump them up a little bit. Bring down the whiteness. 
I'm also gonna crop it. I forgot to do that. So let's crop it a little bit. Don't wanna crop out any important things. Maybe like that. And then we're gonna move on to the color. And since there's like a lot of white in this photo, we're gonna add quite a bit of temperature. And we're gonna make it a little bit warmer. And also make the color tones in the photo a bit more green. When I take photos inside where there aren't any like greenery, I like to add some flowers that are green or just something to make the photo match my other photos. So I'm just gonna bump up the green color, bring down the luminance a bit. And with this photo, I noticed this little leaf in the background, which a lot of people probably don't even notice it, but I'm gonna go over to Snapseed remove the leaf. I'm just gonna go into the healing tool and zoom into the leaf. I'm just gonna remove it. I'm also gonna remove this little spot over here so everything just kind of looks a little bit more clean. And with this tool you can also go to selective and go in on the shadows and kind of brighten them up a little bit. I think we're done with this photo. I think it looks really great. Very even and soft. Let's edit her other photo. As you can see in this photo, it, there's a lot of green colors coming from the trees and the forest. And you can also see her beautiful dress. All I really want to do with this photo is kind of enhance the green tones and kind of make the background a little more blurry. I think this is a really good photo because you can see that it's shot on a really sunny day. But Blake is standing in the shadow, so everything looks very even. There are no sunlight spots appearing on her but you can also see the flickers of sunshine through the forest appearing behind her and I think that really adds a lot to the photo. Her dress it's appearing very white and kind of in your face so I'm just gonna remove that a bit and I'm also gonna bump up the shadows. Everything I'm doing here with the light is kind of just evening out the photo so making the shadows less dark and the brightness less bright. Now we're gonna go into the color section. The first thing I notice in this photo is that the skirt part of the dress is appearing very blue and cold. So I'm gonna try and remove that by using the color section. And I'm just gonna drag down the blue in this photo. As you can see the skirt is appearing much more white and more even and I think it matches the photo a lot better. And then we're gonna go into the green color, just kind of enhance it a little bit, bring down the luminance again to even out the shadows. This is how I usually make my pictures look more like a painting and that's by evening out the background so that it kind of all blends together and we're done. As you can see there's not a lot that has changed in the photo, we have just enhanced everything a little bit. Some people like the very over edited version and I think those are really cool too but when it's summer I think the nature and the setting in the background can bring so much to the photo so you don't really have to edit it that much. Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting and editing the video in my pajamas and I quickly realized that if I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step tutorial for each individual photo then this video will be over an hour long so I decided to kind of show you the before and after of some of the photos instead so hopefully you'll enjoy this too. The next photo is from Sophie. She sent in this really gorgeous mirror picture where she's kind of holding a flower and you can see it in the mirror. I really love all the colors and I think they go really well together. And for some of my photos, I don't go in and edit them that thoroughly. I just kind of use the copy and paste tool because I edit most of my pictures very similarly. So I just thought I'd show you how to use it on the next couple of photos. What I usually do is just copy from a photo that looks kind of similar. And then I paste it in the new photo. Sometimes it works really well and I don't have to edit it at all. But usually I have to change it a little bit to kind of fit into the new photo. So this next photo is from Elena. She sent in this lovely portrait of herself in this really cute summer dress. As you can see in this photo, there's a lot going on. 
with the blue bright sky in the background, the beige building. But what I'm basically gonna try and do with this photo is even it out a bit and we're gonna move into the colors. This is where we can do most of the work. The dress is very beautiful. It appears very bright in this picture. So I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more natural looking. So this is the before. You can see that there's a lot of saturation in this photo and a lot of harsh shadows and harsh lighting, but when we tweak the colors and kind of even it up with the lighting and the effects, it looks a lot more natural. This next photo was sent in by Poe and I think she did such a great job with this photo. I can definitely see this like framed on a wall or something. Everything just matches so perfectly, like this, the clouds in the sky, the subject in the photo and the beautiful building it just it looks very beautiful i also really love the contrast like the building kind of appears as a line between the sky and the ground which i think is very interesting yeah we're just gonna edit this photo a tiny bit the only thing we need to do is make it a little bit brighter and add a little bit more blurriness to kind of achieve that dreamy effect. This is the before. So you can see the blue is a little bit more strong and the green, like the contrast in the photo are more different. By just kind of tweaking the light and the colors, it creates a more even look to the photo. This lovely photo was sent in by Penelope and you look like a freaking princess in this photo and I'm really really jealous of your gorgeous vintage dress. I really like that you can see a little bit of the town in the background. I actually think I'm going to start by cropping this photo. My sister actually taught me this and it's that if you have your subject appear in one of the corners of the photo, it makes it a lot easier for the eye to find something to rest on. And then we're basically done with this photo as well. These last two photos were sent in from my lovely friend Rhea. She is so beautiful and kind and I was so excited when she sent me these photos to edit. And she definitely looks like she belongs in a castle in these photos. And I love this photo, it's just like the one I edited with Blake. Because you can see Rhea is sitting in the shadow but you can also see some figures of light in the background which I think adds a lot to the photo. Usually when I edit two photos from the same photo shoot, I copy and paste the editing into this photo. I think this actually looks really good, so I'm just gonna play around with the cropping tool. And then we're done with this photo as well. someone else photo for a change. I really hope you were satisfied with the result and that you like the kind of editing style I added to these photos. If you want to be in the next video be sure to keep a lookout on my Instagram page because that's usually where I announce it and tell you where you can submit your photos so go check my Instagram. I've left the link to it in the description box below. Anyways don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like this video and I'll probably make more of them in the future. I wish you 